Hi, today we're going to learn how to make a carousel featuring your books so that you can show them off on, I don't know, TikTok or Facebook or Instagram, wherever. Quick shout out to Michelle Toth, who did a, a tutorial on this a few weeks ago, which is what inspired me to make my own with my book covers. I will link to her original tutorial in the comments. Right, let's get to it. Before we start, please don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel because it really helps these videos get seen. If you would like a free Canva template, sign up for my author newsletter and for more author related Canva chat, join the free and friendly Canva for Authors Facebook group. I will put all of the links in the notes. Okay, let's go. If you go onto the videos tab there, you've got all these, um, ready sized videos. So you could have a landscape one or a portrait one. You could make an Instagram reel, TikTok video. I'm going to go with a landscape video. I've got five books, so I'm going to put five books. And if you've got more, you can add more. So first thing I'm going to do is find some, find an element to put these in. So what we're going to do is we're going to look for frames. See all and have a look through some of the frames. Now there is a frame that's a book. That one. But I'm actually going to use that frame, which doesn't have anything around it. I don't think there is a Kindle frame. No, there's an iPad frame. That might be a good one as well. Let's have a look. Let's change the background. Now the background, you can have gradients now, which is quite cool. So I think that's a nice gradient. Yes, I think it is, yes. And then what you can do is you can go back in and edit the gradient a little bit so you can change where the color balance is. So that's quite a nice one. That's quite a nice one. I think I would quite like that. I'd quite like that. So let's do that. Okay. So, right. So you've got your background, you've got your frame because we've got five different books. We're going to copy this control C control V copy and paste. Um, and now I want one book to be at the front and be bigger and the ones behind it to be slightly smaller. So let's do that one. Control C, Control V again to the same size. Okay. And then Control C, Control V and a couple of smaller ones in the background. Okay. Now that looks great, but they are in the wrong place. Let's line it up properly. There we go. Okay. So now they're in the wrong place because you've got the small ones in the front and the big ones at the back. So you, we need to change that. So we're going to right click on it, layer, show layers. And this is where it gets a bit tricky because you need to get the big one and drag it to the top because they all look exactly the same at the moment. Next one, drag it to the next layer. Next one, drag it to the next layer. There we go. That looks better. Right. So now we've got our basic structure. What I might do is I'm going to search for shadows. see all. Now shadows are really difficult to see, so I'm uh, mostly just guessing now. Uh, that'll do. There. So it looks like they're floating. Right. So this is our basic structure. Right. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to duplicate this whole slide. Duplicate page, duplicate page, duplicate page. Do this five times because we've got five books and we need to go them go them to go around five times. 
One, two, three, four, five. So I've got six now. Don't need that. Delete page. Okay, right. Now I'm going to go and find my book covers. If you don't know already, you click on upload and you upload your book covers onto into your upload file. Right, picture perfect. That's one. Let's start with that one. So, which way is it going? So, it's, this one's going to be in this one, it's going to be here. In this one, it's going to be around the back. In this one, it's going to be around the back on the other side. You're just dragging and dropping it into the right place. Okay. Now, then, let's look for the next one. So the next one's playing for love and that one we're going to put just behind the picture perfect one so in each page you put it one behind the picture perfect one it gets really messed up if you if you get the you just have to make sure you get the first book in the right place otherwise it gets very confusing Nope, that's wrong. So if you accidentally like this, if you get it in the wrong place, you go on there, you go detach image, it'll take it back, and then you put it in the right place. And Christmas at the Palace is the last one. So you will try and put it in it's the background when you bring it in. So just hold firm. Don't let go of your mouse. Only let go of your mouse when you've got it in the right frame. Okay, so... Let's shorten these. So you can now shorten the clip, as in how long this thing is on screen for. So make them two seconds each. Actually, let's make them one and a half seconds each, because they don't need to be two seconds long. They don't even need to be one and a half seconds long. Okay, so now if we play it, oh, why is that? One second. Okay, now if we play it, they should swap around. But as you can see, they're not going smoothly like they were before. So this is where the magic comes in. You go between and add transition. And match and move which is a new transition they have. Match and move, add it for each one. Okay, now and then you could just loop it to go around and around and around. That's it. If you found this useful, please tell all your writer friends. If you do make any of these, just tag me and sh so, and show me them because I would love to see what you create. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe and I will be back in a fortnight with something else. Thank you for your time.